Whether you love or hate Elon, he recently dropped some serious knowledge about process optimization on the Lex Friedman podcast. I've gone backwards so many times where I've automated something, sped it up, simplified it, and then deleted it. <laughs> and I got tired of doing that. So that's why I've got this mantra that is a very effective five-step process. It works great. In today's video, we're going to go through Elon's five-step optimization process in detail. This happens to be a great use case for the new ChatGPT model, the O1. I'm going to show you how to use that to optimize your processes based on his thoughts. Using AI to its fullest extent really just comes down to good automation habits. These steps can ensure that you're automating the right thing, saving you a ton of time and heartache. I wish I had this mantra months ago. In today's example, we're going to be optimizing an order process workflow. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I've even automated this optimization process. First question, the requirements, make the requirements um, less dumb. Here's the example I was talking about. This is an e-commerce company I've been working with and their order fulfillment process. So let's see if we can optimize this, see if we can make the requirements less dumb. So I'm dropping all of that into the new model here and I'm trying a new technique where I am separating the instructions with these tags. If you've done any coding or HTML, these might look familiar. The instructions separate from the context of this process. I have found with this model, you want to be very precise. Let's see what this comes up with. And in true O1 fashion, it has pulled a very robust list of things to think about regarding the requirements for this particular process. And then the second thing is try to delete the, whatever the step is, the, the part or the process step. It sounds very obvious, but often forget to do, to, to try deleting it entirely. And if you're not forced to put back at least 10% of what you delete, you're not deleting enough. So I have this prompt here that says, please analyze this particular process and delete any steps that can be eliminated. Hedge on the side of deleting too much rather than not enough. You can always add stuff in later. I think using the large language model for this is really helpful because it helps us get outside of our own heads. It really is helpful to have a third party perspective here, especially one that is as super smart as this O1. This thing thought for a while. I don't think I've ever seen it think for 47 seconds. So pulling out a lot of different things that may not need to be in this process. And only the third thing is try to optimize it or simplify it. And for this one, I'm just giving the prompt, examine the remaining steps of this process, the ones that have not been removed, and suggest ways to simplify or optimize each one of these steps. Before we move on, if you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're getting something out of these videos, please check out my Patreon. That's how I support this channel. Every single video that I create, I have a cheat sheet version that includes everything I go over and a lot more resources. There's over a hundred in there now. Those are all instantly accessible to anybody who joins my Patreon. So check it out. Okay, so it has now summarized the remaining steps here and given us all sorts of thoughts on how we can optimize those steps. There's like a step four as well, which is um, any given thing can be sped up. <laughs> How fast do you think it can be done? Like whatever the speed, the, the speed is being done, it can be done faster. So for this one, I've got the following prompt. How can we speed the remaining steps up? How can they be performed faster? Suggest methods for speeding these steps up as fast as possible. Even if it compromises quality, please detail the trade-offs for the increased speed. So I think as a thought process, you want to see really how fast can this go? Even if the quality is off a little bit, perhaps you can make that up down the road in other ways. This model is really a beast when it comes to things like this. It really thought through that for almost a minute coming up with different ways to speed things up and offering the trade-offs for that increased speed. And then the, the fifth thing is to, to automate it. And this final automation step is what I've covered in a lot of my other videos, whether it's using make.com or custom GPTs. Go back and check out those videos. I will link to them now about how to automate any process. Look at this. It is really giving us the goods here for these streamlined steps. What I love about this new model is that the uh, response window is so much larger. That was such a major limitation before. We can get so much out of these models now with this extended response window. Wow, this is thought of everything from speeding up the website itself, faster shipping methods, 
and customer support using chat bots, et cetera. So we've gone from a rather clunky 12-step uh, process with a lot of manual steps that is really how a lot of people are operating to a nearly fully automated and streamlined process of just five steps with a lot of ideas on how to do this in minutes maybe what used to probably take you know hours but like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i want to show you how to automate this optimization process as well and for this i'm using a custom gpt that i created a while ago that is my instructions generator and i am just dropping in all the prompts we went through let's let this run get some instructions those look good i'm copying them in, into my instructions here all right, adding my logo in there. I call this my pre-automation process optimizer bot. Rolls right off the tongue. Enter your process and I will run Elon's five-step optimization mantra on it. I'm going to have a link to this in the cheat sheet. If you want to use this, you're welcome to join Patreon and give this a try. We're going to test this new custom GPT out on an onboarding process for a new employee. Pretty standard 12-step process here. Let's see how it does. All right, I'm dropping that process in and we are going to let it rip as they say on the bear. <laughs> I tuned up that first prompt a little bit to make sure it's really thinking through, you know, the requirements themselves. Should this whole entire process be made smarter in some way? For step two, I'm just going to say, please proceed. This is the elimination step. So eliminating more than we think, uh, we possibly can. All right, it's returning the steps we have left. We're gonna see if we can simplify those or optimize those in some way. Awesome, please proceed. Speeding this up. And now step five, the automation step. You can see how this five-step mantra really gets under the hood and makes sure that you're analyzing anything that you're trying to automate, any process that you're going through in a deep way. I think that's critical as we're using these AI models to do more and more complex things. Again, there is a link to this custom GPT, all of the prompts, and a whole lot more in the link in the description. When you join my Patreon, you get access to that cheat sheet and over a hundred others, tons of custom GPTs. There's some coaching options options in there as well. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Thanks a ton for watching. Make your dreams come true.